Mr. Speaker, the Department of Public Transportation implemented a new 50 bus schedule on the 18th of March 2019 to provide a reduced bus, public bus service that could be reliably met with the available buses and no cancellations. However, the frequency and capacity of the new schedule was insufficient to meet the demands of our commuters, visitors, and students. Additionally, there were challenges with the rest times between some trips, presenting health and safety concerns for not only bus operators and the traveling public. As a result, it was decided to reinstate the previous schedule effective 29 April 2019. The 2019 bus schedule was closely monitored over a period of six weeks, consolidating feedback from bus oper operators and the public. The decision to revert to the former schedule was not taken lightly, but was the only recourse to address the concerns of our operators and passengers. Mr. Speaker, implementing the 2019 bus schedule was a learning curve and is an advancement to build on as we move forward. The ministry, unions, and the DPT have fostered a stronger working relations uh, demonstrated in part by our ability to agree the definition of night work. Um, and I think that deserves repeating, Mr. Speaker. Demonstrated in part by our ability to agree the definition of night work and collectively develop and implement work rosters. Once implemented, we consulted on the performance of the new schedule and decisions were made in the best interests of the public and our employees. Mr. Speaker, this government is committed to delivering a quality public bus service. As such, replenishing the bus fleet remains a priority for the DPT. Over the past year, the average in service bus count has increased from 50 buses up to 65 buses. This was accomplished through a combination of new bus purchases, midlife refits, and out of service repairs. We have taken delivery of six new buses in the past year with a further six new buses arriving between June and September this year. In addition, DPT has recently concluded a request for information for new buses and is in the process of preparing a request for proposal. We are taking this opportunity to review the bus market and available vehicle types that meet Bermuda's needs, as well as international public transportation standards. This includes consideration for sustainability and the environment, appropriately sized buses, accessibility, onboard features, and the total cost of ownership. The informa information gathered during the RFI process is encouraging, and we are confident that there are solutions that can replenish the bus fleet in a timely manner and improve the bus service. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.